the fact is I started this career for me and it doesn't really matter where I've been and what I achieve it seems like it's never good enough for the fans right it seems to be I'm always the bad guy despite what the media says despite what some of the fans says I'm a real fighter and I fight anybody and everyone and I've never turned one fight down I think it's time to show everyone what I already know and unfortunately if it means beating Bader Harry to do it then believe me I will do it there's no doubt about it Best friend back in London, and Chris, the original sledgehammer. Uh, how was he to you in your life? What did he bring value to life and make it better? Chris was crazy. <laughs> I was also crazy back then. Um, we had no fear. We didn't care for anything or anyone. Uh, just each other. We were uh, going down a very dangerous, dark road. Uh, Chris um, unfortunately took his own life in the house that we lived in together. I remember looking at Chris's body when the police came and I could see myself. I had no uh, value of life. Um, I really didn't care if I lived or died. But he gave me a, a crystal ball to look into my future. And if I was going to continue doing the things I was doing, that was going to be my future also. So I changed my life real quick. Quite honestly, if I never had my wife or my daughter, I honestly believe I would be dead. I wouldn't be here. Marrying my wife was the most important time in my life. She helped me evolve. <laughs> she helped me develop and, and show me some things that were right and some things that were wrong. I always, of course, always fought for money and that always put food on my table. Uh, every fight, every win was valuable. I think that's why for so many years I had to take so many fights um, because it was a financial scenario. If I didn't fight, my family didn't eat. Uh, we didn't have nothing, so I didn't have nothing to fall back on. So uh, when my daughter came into the picture, it, it really put pressure on. It really got real. It really made me put things in perspective. And of course, there is no motivation like thinking that uh, if you don't win, if you don't put the effort in, if you don't get up and go to the gym, if you don't get the stuff done, uh, your daughter will be hungry. And uh, that was my mentality and still is my mentality to this day. Even now, I'm self-independent financially. It's not about living off my fight money anymore. Of course, when your daughter looks at you and says, Daddy, please, please win today. You can't help but get motivation from that, right? It breaks your heart. So it's a beautiful thing. I now live on a farm. I own a farm. So we own like 20 plus acres here. I enjoy my animals. Uh, I enjoy the, uh, how much joy it brings my daughter and my wife who love the, the family lifestyle of the farm. It's a great life. Then I, I, after my day, I start. I go to the gym in the afternoon, which is where my, I own my own business, my own gym. Uh, my day usually finishes around nine in the evening. I get to unwind, drive home, see my family, and I put my daughter to bed, and then, uh, yeah, runs again. So far, um, yeah, I'm very, I'm very happy, and I'm in a very beautiful place that uh, my wife and I, we've constructed for ourselves. I've seen people like Bader Harry before, dangerous guy. He was a street guy too, right, uh, in his younger days. He obviously is a family man now, five children, which is beautiful, husband, beautiful, which is great, same as myself. We've evolved, we've moved on in life, we've changed. But um, there's an old saying, right, a tiger will never lose its spots. And I've seen street guys before. And, uh, he's seen street guys before. And I've seen that aggression. I've seen the, the bad temper. I've seen it all. It's going to bring out the very deepest and darkest of characters in us both. There's going to be a stage in this fight where I honestly believe it's going to take me personally to a very, very dark place that I've had in my younger days. Uh, it's going to bring me to a street mentality position where I'm going to say, Let's go. It actually scares me a little bit. It just scares me. No matter what stage in our career, the fight with Bader Harry and myself is always going to be a huge fight. I mean, we're, we've been around for years. Uh, Bader's been a very high performance fighter in, in K1. He's always been a dangerous puncher, a dangerous kicker. But to be honest, I really feel the most danger of Bader is that his experience, his fight intelligence. People underestimate his fight intelligence because he's been so voracious over the years with certain techniques. Yeah, there's always a danger with him. Anyone who's had that many fights and at that level for so long, 
it's a danger. Preparation for this fight has been uh, superb. Um, it's been very well planned. So I started very early. Yeah, I went into camp in shape. It's also extremely nice now over these years to develop a system, having friends like Alistair. I helped him for his camp when he fought Bada. So it's kind of like I've had a training camp for Bada Harry for almost two years. I helped Alistair and structure his fight. We built a system in place with techniques, recovery, um, yeah, a healthy system that uh, helped Alistair in his victory. And I, I'm 1000% sure this same system will help me uh, get my victory. Bada Harry is a fighter and a very good one. And guess what? So am I. We're gonna fight September 9th in front of all the world, main event, and we're gonna find out who the best man wins. This is what we do, this is what we love, and the fans should embrace the fact that two people like us exist, because without us, there wouldn't be a fight. Just as without the fans, we wouldn't be able to fight. We need each other. So I appreciate all the good and the bad in both. When it comes to the end, to be honest, I don't really think about what the fans view of me, and I never really have. What I know, about my career. I've gone out there and I've tested myself all over the world in different styles of fights, at different weight classes. I fought hundreds of fights, three digits plus. To be a real fighter, you should take fights. So if they think that about me at the end of, this, of my career, then I'll be happy. But if they don't, the most important person in the world, myself, my family, and God knows that was my path.